So, if you've been following my channel, you know that I planted some indeterminate potatoes in pails. And my pails turned into towers as the potato plants grew and grew and grew. We were holding our breath to see if the towers would produce tubers or just plants. Well, the results are in. Hello, this is Stephen from Short Season Garden, and I offer tips and tricks for gardening in any climate, but especially for short seasons like here in Zone 3 in Eastern Canada. So give my video a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, or you can check me out on Instagram or Facebook at Short Season Garden. So, like their cousin, the tomato, potatoes also come in determinate and indeterminate varieties. The question was, if we bury the stem with soil, will tubers grow all the way up the stem or just the first few inches? Some said yes, most said no. In mid-May, I planted four russet Burbank seed potatoes in individual pails and the rest in the ground. As the season progressed, my pails grew into towers as I added bottomless pails and kept covering all but the tops of the potato plants with soil. By mid-September, the tops on the potatoes in the ground had died back, but there was still a lot of green in the pails. Anxious to compare the harvest, I tried to speed the process along by breaking the potato tops by hand. Finally, on the 1st of October, I was ready for my comparison. The weight of my empty tray is about three and a quarter pounds. I marked off four of the remaining plants in the ground bed and dug up the potatoes. As you can see, I got some nice, beautiful, large, well-shaped potatoes that will be great for baking or easy for peeling to boil. Now it's time to weigh them. When I subtract the weight of the empty tray, I'm left with about 21 pounds of potatoes from my four in-ground plants. Most of them nice potatoes, although a few got sunburned because they needed more healing. Now the moment of truth has come. How far up the pails will the tubers go? Most of the soil had settled out of the top pail, so it came off pretty easily. The next pail is much harder because it's tightly packed with soil and stem. But not with potatoes. Oh, there is one potato. The tightly compacted soil and the long stem going all the way up through the pails is not going to make this job very easy. This is coming apart rather harder than I expected. Oh, there's another potato. Okay, just trying to get this soil out of this pail. Finding some hard packed soil, but no potatoes. Come on, get out of there. Oh, there we go, there goes the soil. And one more potato, that's all. That was the third pail. Okay, now we're down to the second to the bottom pail. Uh, 
And this one is packed even tighter. Lots of stem, not finding much for potatoes. Okay, we're getting the soil loosened out here now. Even the pail next to the bottom is basically empty. The critics may be right. It looks like almost all the potatoes are in the bottom pail. And because of the, the tightness of the container, they're pretty knobby and misshapen. For the sake of time, we'll jump ahead, but the last three towers are much the same as the first one. Tightly packed soil with most of the potatoes in the bottom pail, and many of them quite misshapen. The misshaped potatoes are no doubt the fault of the tight restriction of the small space inside the pails. Okay, let's see what these potatoes weigh. Tray and all comes to 21 and 3 quarter pounds, so about 18 and a half pounds of potatoes. So to be fair, the towers did nearly as well as the potatoes planted in the ground in terms of total weight, about two and a half pounds less. Granted, some of them were quite misshapen, but on the other hand, none got sunburned. While the results were a bit underwhelming, overall it was a fun learning experience. If I try it again, I will do it differently. Some people make a large ring of, out of wire mass that is normally used to reinforce concrete. They place several potatoes in the bottom, cover them, and add some more, creating several layers of seed potatoes in the tower. This will give a larger harvest, but of course takes a lot more seed potatoes. What I really want to design is something I can open at the bottom and pull out some small new potatoes, making room for more to grow. If I come up with something, you'll see it in a future video. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.